Uh, good evening. My name is Chris Armand Trout, um, and I'm not running for office, but I want you to know who I am up here. I'm a former teacher, and I'm a parent of two kids here in the city. And I say that because I want you to understand that I'm not up here because I'm just, I guess I'm going to work for the school district. Uh, I'm here because what I'm talking about means a whole lot and makes a whole lot of difference to the people who are actually out there in our schools. So I'm here to talk about Proposition A. It's a $531 million bond proposition uh, that is designed to help uh, renovate, modernize, and improve the safety for about 50 of our schools. Uh, in our, from our standpoint, I, I don't think there's anyone who would, who would argue against the schools, and I think, and I would hope that everyone in this room would agree that there's, it's critical for us to have a safe, modern, clean, well-structured, modern building for each and every one of our students. I think if you read the papers today or read what's on the news today, uh, our school district is actually experiencing a huge renaissance. We've had the ninth year in a row of, of test scores going up. We've had the third year in a row of narrowing the achievement gap for all students in this district. And we want to make sure that every student is served with a building, with a facility that's going to serve their educational needs. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about. So what will this actually do? This is going to make, their earth, make it safe for earthquakes. It's going to make it modern, safe for a few, um, for econ for, uh, sorry, heating, lighting, uh, heat, everything from making sure that the building's not going to fall down in the next moment creator to making sure that you've got internet access there. The funding is going to be paid through by property taxes. And it is designed, uh, what we see as a unifying measure for this city. This is something that everybody in this city should be able to get behind, as from what we're, from we're saying. So not only for our families, not only for our students, but also for every neighborhood, it makes a huge difference to have a safe, clean, modern building in there. You look at some of the renovations that we've done uh, over the past six years, seven years, and we've transformed neighborhoods with the way that, that these buildings are coming online. If you look at our track record for past bond measures, we've got a phenomenal team that's supporting this. Our chief, of, uh, our chief facilities officer, David Golden, and his team, the ones who've been working on this since 2003. These are the folks. We've had seven years of flawless audits. <coughs> we have come in under budget, sorry, we've come in on budget within our time frame. We're keeping our promises to everyone in the city, and I hope you support it. And uh, if there's any remaining time, I'll be glad to answer questions. We have a couple minutes for questions, guys. If, uh... Hi. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. To, well, so the people who pay are property owners. And the argument that I would make to any property owner, and I, property owner too, in the city, I'm blessed to be able to say that. And what I would say is that you have to invest back in your city. You can't just take a very narrow, myopic view of what you're doing there. And if me, for me to be able to look to my neighborhood school and make sure that that, I mean, even if I was selfish, even if I was completely selfish, didn't care about kids, didn't care about families, didn't care about anyone but, but my own property tax values, it's a good investment. It's a good, simple investment. Because if that school looks great, it will look good on my neighborhood. So I think that there's a lot to be said. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, sorry, I get to ask a question, too. Um, I worked at, at San Francisco Unified School District as a teacher, a special needs teacher, for five, or close to five years. And one of the things that I worry about is when I hear about anything about San Francisco Unified School District, that the administration side seems to be so top heavy. I myself had to pay for, you know, pencils, pens, paper, anything the students need. We went on a field trip and I worked in a socioeconomically challenged area. I actually helped pay for their entrance to events or what have you. What I worry about is anytime I hear anything about San Francisco Unified School District, how are we guaranteed that this money is going to actually benefit the students and go to the students and not get in the hands of the administration? That's what my concern is on anything when it comes to San Francisco Unified School District. So how, how do we have a guarantee with this measure that this money comes in that it's just not going to be there? Oh, we need a few more administrators up at the office. Sure, and, so and, 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 and Dean, I, I appreciate the question. I think it's a, and I think it's an important question to ask. I, I, 
and I appreciate it. And I appreciate the opportunity to, to be able to address it to your group here tonight. So what I would say is the guarantee is that this is a bond measure with very, very specific uh, restrictions of where this money is going. So you're going to see exactly the 50, uh, 50, I believe it's 53 schools that this money is going for. The money is not going to any kind of administrator salaries or any sort of, I mean, it is going to improvements and it is defined by law to do so. And what I would point to is also, as I mentioned earlier, we have done this before. We've been doing this since 2003. This is the third of three bond measures. And we have seven years of flawless audits. Now, that's not always been the case for SFUSD. And, and you and I are both former teachers in this district, and I get it. And I, and I, t I taught seven years at Burton High School. And I know, and I've done that too. So I get your frustration. And I would not be up here in front of you if I didn't think this was, if I didn't believe behind this. I really wouldn't. So I would, what, what I would point to is the years we've had of audits, the track record that we've got, we've proven, and the quality of the team that's in place there and continues to be in place. And, and that would be, but I really appreciate that, that question. I think that's a great question to ask. Great, thank you. Sorry, sorry guys, but I had to ask that question. Okay, thanks so very much.